Hello, Lakers Nation. Welcome in. It's game day. We've got Lakers versus Spurs tonight. Well, I guess I should say this afternoon, 4.30 Pacific time tip off for this one. But Lakers take on the Spurs again and a lot of questions on the injury report. Anthony Davis, LeBron James, Torian Prince, all questionable as of this moment. So that is going to be the big theme for the day. Who's in? Who is out? Joining me is Mark Gunnels from LakersNation.com. Mark, uh, do you see both AD and LeBron play? I mean, obviously that's going to change quite a bit of this matchup and and how the Lakers approach it. Yeah, I mean, as of right now, we're about, what, five hours away from tip-off. If you ask me my gut feeling, I think I'm leaning towards AD not playing. Uh-huh. Uh, the fact that you played this team a couple days ago, you know, I think it's some gamesmanship as far as, at least I'll say with the fans, right? Because I was thinking at first, you know, LeBron didn't play the other night. That must really suck for Spurs fans. But you got right. another chance tonight because it was a back-to-back -back at home so i do think uh lebron and ad care about that type of stuff because you don't see these guys too often so i i think that does matter to them which is why i knew lebron would play for sure tonight as far as ad the ankle looked bad but he came back and <laughs> scored almost 40 points so it didn't seem like it bothered him too much but i think i'm leaning towards no just because lebron is coming back tonight and you're playing against a spurs team where you don't have to be at full strength to beat at least you shouldn't be. Well, and he's been dealing with the groin issue as well, and that's been lingering. And if you were able to hold him out of this game, the Lakers don't play Saturday. They don't play Sunday. They didn't play yesterday. So that's four days in a row you could buy Anthony Davis off if you sit him for this game. So that's got to be a, an attractive option if you are trying to manage this injury. Of course, AD likes to play through things, likes to play whenever he can. So it wouldn't shock me if he winds up playing either. It's all kind of up in the air. I think you're right, though. I think LeBron is the more likely of the two to play, especially given that San Antonio did not get to see him last game. Anthony Davis, that's the one that's truly up in the air for me. We'll see if he goes or not. If not, that might change your your uh, underdog selection here. But but that's uh, well. In fact, let's just let's get into it a little earlier in the show than we normally do. But whenever we have the, one of these matchups, we have you go on underdog and take a look at some of the plays. Why don't you talk about what you have for uh, for this one today, Mark? Yeah, so got two plays for you. I'm going to start at the top with Victor Wimbenyama. I actually have him going lower than 21 points. I know he had 30 a couple nights ago, but I do think there will be a more concerted effort tonight after seeing him just literally two days ago to put a little more pressure on him. Even if AD doesn't play, I, I, I could still see a scenario because he's been up and down. He'll have these great scoring games, and then the next game he'll have like 15 or 18 or something like that, which is still a pretty efficient game considering he's just a 19-year-old rookie. But I do think there's maybe a little bit more juice on this number considering what he did last game because he's only averaging 19 a, a, a night, which I say only tongue-in-cheek, right? That's still a really right. good rookie campaign, but we know the expectations for him have been a little bit unfair to say the least. But I, I, I think that number – really juiced this one up a couple nights ago. So that's why I'm going to go the other way tonight on Victor. And then as far as LeBron, I think well-rested. Obviously didn't play a couple nights ago. I think he's going to try to put on the show for the Spurs crowd. And, you know, this has always been kind of a, a rival for LeBron personally. Now, I know this team obviously has nobody on the team that he's ever played against. Uh, back in those rivalry days with the Heat and things of that nature, even back all the way back to the Cavs, he played them in the finals, his first finals, right? But I mm -hmm. still think there's something there with the respect factor of the organization. Him and Greg Popovich are really, really close. So I think he's going to put on the show for the crowd tonight. I, th I wouldn't be surprised if he scores 30, especially I'm assuming 80 doesn't play, which means more shot opportunities for LeBron. Yeah, I, I think, you know, if... I, I like that number for LeBron, especially – I feel like that number is almost assuming Anthony Davis is going to be out. Yeah. yeah. And my gut reaction on the Wemb and Yama points was, well, if AD is out, Wemby's going to go nuts. But you may be right. Maybe the Lakers do just commit extra resources towards him and try to force somebody else to get going, given that he had 30 last game. And like you said, he, he has been you know up and down. I believe he was 4 of 5 from 3 um, in, in the, the last meeting between the Lakers and the Spurs just the other day. And I don't see that repeating. So even without AD, maybe he doesn't hit that. That's that's an interesting one. That, maybe that's even kind of there to kind of to lure you in to go higher 
because uh, Anthony Davis could be out for this one. That's an interesting point. And again, I, I hadn't taken that angle. That's that's why why we love having you on here, Mark. You think about things in a different way than I than I tend to. Yeah, and that's what I would call a rat number. 21, like I said, he's only averaging 19 on the year. But the fact that he scored 30 against this same team and you're assuming AD probably doesn't play, everybody's going to go higher on this. I'm telling you. So this is kind of me just going the opposite way on this one. All right. And guys, if you want to check this out, you can head over to Underdog. Use our promo code Lakers Nation. Get a, a deposit match of up to $100. Fantastic stuff there. Always a lot of fun. Uh, the Lakers right now are the, the favorite in this matchup. It appears there is some confidence that at least one of LeBron or AD will play. But the Lakers had that big fourth quarter meltdown last game against the Spurs. Suddenly became a two-point game. and almost looked like the Spurs were going to break they're now 18-game losing streak against the Lakers. They certainly don't want to be the team that the Spurs break it against. So what do the Lakers need to do in order to make sure they get the win tonight? Just stay uh, locked in from start to finish. I thought they played really good, like you mentioned, for the first three quarters. Let your foot off the gas a little bit. Wimby got hot, obviously scored 14 in that fourth quarter alone. So I, I think there will be some regression to the mean as far as the three-point shooting, especially with Wimby. Because I know heading to that game, as far as all qualified players, he's dead. He was dead last in three point field goal percentage in mm. the like low to mid 20s, I believe. So he's not a really great three point shooter. He does have a good stroke. It looks good, but it just hasn't been consistent to this point thus far. So I don't see that repeating itself again. And I think with LeBron back on the floor, I think there'll be a different level of sense of urgency if you will we know lebron he has these games where he gets up early and everybody just kind of follows his lead and i think yeah. with him having that extra day off of rest you know and you didn't have to travel that far you were just in dallas and you have to go to san antonio so he should be super super fresh and motivated to go tonight and they've been in san antonio the last couple of days so that's a factor too it's not like they're getting off a plane and going and playing this game which i kind of like that they they go to san antonio once this year play two games, they're not back-to-back, -back, get it done, and then move on. Not, not a bad idea to cut down on travel for the NBA. But uh, Lakers Nation, give us your thoughts in the comments down below. What are you expecting to see out of the Lakers tonight? Are they going to get the win? And then LeBron James and Anthony Davis, do they both play? Is it just one or the other? What is that going to look like for the Lakers in this one? Again, give me your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to check out our YouTube membership program. You can check that out using the join button, see all the great perks that we have to offer. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. Appreciate y'all being here, everybody. Till next time, we'll see you and stay safe.